early years in San Francisco. Bruce Lee's remarkable life began on November 27, 1940. In San Francisco, his father, Li Hui Chun, was an opera singer, and his mother, Grace Ho, hailed from a well-off Eurasian family. However, the Lee family's comfortable life took a turn as World War II unfolded, prompting them to return to Hong Kong when Bruce was just three months old. Introduction to Martial Arts Young Bruce's interest in martial arts blossomed when he encountered a street fight, concerned for his safety. His parents decided to enroll him in martial arts classes. At 13, he started training under the legendary Wing Chun master Yip Man. This laid the foundation for the martial arts philosophy that Bruce would later develop. Move to the United States. In 1959, at the age of 18, Bruce Lee moved to the United States. Despite facing racial prejudice, he continued his education, earning a degree in philosophy from the University of Washington. During this period, he also began teaching martial arts and developed his unique style, which eventually evolved into Jeet Kune Do. Television and Film Career Bruce Lee's breakthrough came with the role of Kato in the television series The Green Hornet 1966-1967. However, feeling limited by stereotypical roles for agents in Hollywood, he returned to Hong Kong. There, he achieved superstar status with films like The Big Boss 1971 and Fist of Fury in 72 breaking box office records. Global Icon Bruce Lee's dynamic martial arts style and matched athleticism and magnetic presence made him a global sensation. He became a cultural icon, challenging stereotypes and paving the way for Asian representation in Western media. His influence extended beyond martial arts inspiring a diverse range of people worldwide. Jeet Kune Do Philosophy Jeet Kune Do, Bruce Lee's martial arts philosophy, emphasized practicality, efficiency, and directness, rejecting traditional forms. He encouraged practitioners to adopt what is useful and discard what is not. This philosophy transcended martial arts, influencing fields like a philosophy, psychology, and self-help. Personal life Bruce Lee's personal life was marked by challenges. He faced prejudice in both the East and the West. His marriage to Linda Emery in 1964 faced opposition due to interracial issues. Despite external pressures, their love endured, and they had two children, Brandon and Shannon Lee. Tragedy Strikes On July 20, 1973, tragedy struck. Bruce Lee, at the pinnacle of his career, died unexpectedly at the age of 32. The official cause was cerebral edema, but the circumstances surrounding his death sparked conspiracy theories and speculation. The world mourned the loss of a martial arts legend. Legacy Lives On Bruce Lee's legacy continued through his family and his impact on martial arts and popular culture. His son, Brandon Lee, also became an actor and martial artist, tragically, meeting a similar fate on a film set in 1993. Despite these losses, the Lee family has worked tirelessly to preserve and promote Bruce's teachings. Posthumous Impact after his death, Bruce Lee's influence soared posthumously. His film Enter the Dragon, 1973, became a massive success, solidifying his status as a global icon. His writings, including the book Tao of Jeet Kune Do, became influential texts in martial arts and philosophy. 
Bruce Lee's philosophy continued to inspire. Generations of martial artists, actors and thinkers. Cultural Phenomenon Decades after his passing, Bruce Lee remains a cultural phenomenon. His life story was portrayed in films like Dragon, The Bruce Lee Story 1993, further cementing his place in cinematic history. The annual Bruce Lee, foundation events and ongoing interest in his philosophy demonstrate the enduring impact of his legacy. Bruce Lee's life, from his childhood in San Francisco to his untimely death, is a captivating journey marked by determination, innovation, and a passion for breaking barriers. His influence on martial arts, film, and culture is immeasurable. As we reflect on his legacy, Bruce Lee's indomitable spirit continues to inspire millions worldwide, ensuring that his legacy lives on for generations to come.